Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Hey guys, so this video is very special for you. It's how to get your Android apps on your Surface Pro. Because let's face it, this store, we're not really feeling it, it's not that big. You know, yes, that's, yes, that's what she said. Um, but anyway, so, you know, this is, it's just not really the same caliber of what else is out there on the market. So how do we get the same caliber? Well, we get our Android apps back. And how do we do this? Well, I'm gonna take you to the desktop. And we're going to go to bluestacks.com. So bluestacks.com will bring you right here. And it tells you, you know, use 750,000 apps on your mobile, uh, PC, or Mac. So we're going to scroll this down, however, because we do not have Windows 7 or anything like that, but we do have Download optimized for Windows 8 Surface Pro. So we're just going to click on that. And this is Chrome, so I'm seeing the download done right here. It is almost done. And then we're going to install and enjoy our Android goodness. All right. So it's finished installing. I'm just going to click it. And it's going to ask you, do you want to install this? So I'm going to hit yes, of course. And you see right here, welcome to Bluestacks. Uh, hitting continue will, of course, you know, agree to the terms and conditions. So we're going to hit and continue. And do you want um, the App Store access and your app notification? Of course. And then we will install it. And this is giving you a little preview of how it will look like. Um, so it will be on the desktop screen uh, for your app. Um, so. It won't take up the entire full screen, but you're talking about pretty much 90% of it. So for, 10, for missing out on 10% to get apps that you could not elsewhere get on Microsoft Surface, I think it's a good trade-off. If you do not, feel free to wait for Surface to get these apps, which might be a while. I'm just saying. And it's just showing you a lot of the cool things that you will have the ability to once again use Android apps. And it's curious, it even looks like it has its own Android keyboard. We will uh, check that out as well. Because if I can get a Swift key keyboard on here, that would be amazing. All right, and we are installing. It's almost done. But yes, I was very excited when I first heard about this. It honestly is what made me uh, get the Surface Pro for um, for our review. Just because when we found out we can actually get Android tablets on here, that changed our entire view on this tablet, really. Because it's really curious on how um, all these Android apps will work with our Surface Pro. Theoretically, they should run really well, uh, considering this is a much faster processor. It's an i5 processor, um, and you just have really uh, well done uh, computer that normally you would not be able to play all these Android apps for. So I'm really curious to see how it'll work. It's taking a little time on that user data. If you do have any apps that you are curious if it will work on the Surface Pro, make sure to leave it down in the comment section below so we can check to see if it does work. It's finishing up the installation. I believe it's 
be starting itself or finishing its installation so we can see it right down here. I will minimize this. And yes, there it is running in the background. And now it's restarting itself. You guys saw me for a second. And now loading blue stacks. And here we go, guys. We have lots and lots of Android. Oop. Okay, it's just going through a couple of different things. And I've already seen some of the games I've played. Army of Darkness over here. Now let's see. I want to search for an app that I know is not. Unfortunately, this keyboard is having a hard time always coming up. I don't know if it just thinks that I have the. Looks like we also have Mobile One over here. So we do have a couple of games. This is the Mobile One App Store. For those of you who haven't seen one of my reviews on that before. And for some reason it's not letting me search. And this has been this device itself. It's just not recognizing that I do not have like a keyboard or anything like that. And I don't know if it thinks I do. And it looks like this is how we can sync up with our device. So I'm going to sign into my Google account where I have all my apps. And I'll tell you right now, the stock keyboard is not the easiest to type on. So sorry for these technical difficulties. Okay. All right, so this is pretty cool. Um, if you can see, I can select whatever device I have, which I have a lot of devices because I reviewed so many, and I'm going to sync the apps it looks like with the apps that I have on my phone. So let's see this. Finish. And okay. 
So I'm going to sync my apps from my Note 2 since I do not have my tablet on me. I will do that one. Because it does indeed have all my devices. Okay. Okay, now I'm seeing. Sorry guys, just been a little learning curve for this. Let me just show you how to quickly install an app. This one let's add an account. We should have an account added. Oh, okay. So this is how do it. Sorry guys for the mix-up on this. 